In this video, we will focus on the risk and the liquidity aspect of the EPF. Let's understand the risk first. EPF is managed by the EPFO, which is the Employee Provident Fund Organization, which is backed by the government. Hence, it is considered as the highest investment grade with the lowest risk. Let's understand the liquidity aspect of it. Ideally, EPF is to be held till retirement, that is till the age of 58 or above. However, under certain exceptions, one can withdraw from their EPF balance. A person can withdraw 100% of the EPF balance if he or she is unemployed for over 2 months. One can withdraw for medical purposes at any point in time. However, the limit specified for the same is 6 months of monthly basic salary or total employee share plus interest, whichever is lower. Purchase of land, purchase of house, construction of house or renovation of house. There are certain other exceptions as well. For example, marriage, education, home loan repayment. A person can withdraw 90% of the EPF balance as long as he or she crosses 54 years of age. To understand the conditions and the withdrawal limits for the same, please see the link below in the video description. 